Hi folks, how are you all doing today? I'm back with a brand new video again. <laughs> okay, so today we are uh, discussing about creating another new pattern. Okay, yes, um, we are doing it on Artist Lab. All right, so this is now a familiar lab for us, right? We have been doing few so far and yeah, when you just, just click on this artist to get on to Artist Lab, right? And you can start off with a new project, okay? So here you can uh, actually apply your own creativity to do anything, whatever you like, right? And we have our Bob here with us to draw whatever you want to draw on the screen, right? So he'll be doing it for you. And uh, yeah, if you've not been watching my previous video series, right? Please do go back to my channel, Folks Hub and open the playlist app lab games there are multiple of them now right so whichever you feel comfortable first you can start off with that series please do watch all the videos in sequence in any playlist if you are uh, opening up right so that you have a better understanding of whatever we are discussing okay and uh, if you are uh, new here please do subscribe to my channel right and yeah so let's get started with our content today okay yes today we are creating square triangle pattern if i have to tell you yeah square triangle so let's just write squares and triangles okay so here the main agenda or the motto of this one is we are using squares and triangle functions here okay we have already discussed about functions. If you have not watched that functions video, okay, please do go back to the playlist app lab. There is a functions video there. In programming concepts also you have functions video, right? So please do go back and watch those videos for understanding what are functions, okay? And how to use them and uh, what is the need and all, right? So today we are going to use two functions. One is function of creating a square and the other one is function of creating a sorry, triangle. Okay. So let's first see and uh, create this one, right? So first I'll draw all squares. Okay. And then I'll draw all rectangles. I'm sorry again. <laughs> it's, it's not rectangles, it's triangles, right? Okay. So let's get started with, um, with the program now, right? So you can see the bob is uh, in the middle now, right? So he has to start off from the top left corner. And we have been doing this in our previous videos also. To move on to the top left corner, you have to use jump to zero over zero down, right? This is the origin point, x and y values here, okay? Now, now what shall I do is, I'll just go to functions. You will get to see so many functions like these, okay? Like I told you, we are going to draw a square. So I'm just grabbing draw a square, right? And then when you click on edit, right? So you can absolutely edit your function. You can customize this in your own way. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give color as another parameter, okay? If you want to understand what are parameters and all, you can go back to my channel to watch those functions video, right? So that you can understand that. And then I'm just getting the set color here, right? I'm just throwing this out. Let's get this color block here and place it over here, okay? That means we are setting color and we manually have to pass the color here, right? So this is how I've just uh, edited this. You can see now we have to provide the length of the square. We also have to give the color, right? So the outline will be drawn in that color, okay? So it doesn't really fill it, but yes, it um, actually draws with that color thing, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just get the color. So you just have to get this thing to attach it here to get give the color, okay? So you just have to click on it to choose any color you want, okay? So if you want it to be colorful, then I'll just go with blue, right, for now. And then uh, let's go to math. Let's get this block here. I'll just place this over here and let's write 50 pixels, okay? So why am I writing 50 pixels is, like we already know, on this canvas, we have 400 pixels width and 400 pixel height, right? So 400 pixels, if I want to draw 
8 squares. So 400 divided by 8 will give you 50, right? So that's why I'm using 50, okay? So that it actually equally draws uh, the squares, right? Uh, so we can absolutely fit in 8 squares of 50 pixel each length. Uh, so it will become an 8 by 8 grid, okay? So I want that thing so that we can neatly arrange it properly. So that's the reason I'm using 50 pixels. But um, next, next what next I want to do is first I want to draw a square and then I want to jump forward by 50 pixels to draw another square. Okay. So let's draw jump forward. Okay. What I will do, I'll, I'll just show you uh, without this jump first. Let's attach this. You can see it is drawing the square over here. Only one square is being drawn now. Okay. So if I jump forward, I'm just getting this. I'll just copy the same square block and put this over here. You can see it is drawing one more. After jumping forward by 50 pixels, you can see this one, right? So what I'll do here, I'll just give alternate colors, right? So blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Uh, I think this should uh, actually suit, correct? So, uh, and then again, we have to jump forward and that's mandate, right? Only then you can actually draw multiple squares and those squares will be visible on the screen, okay? So the same thing I have to repeat four times, right? Why to write it again and again when you have loops, correct? So if you have not watched my loops video, please do go back to my channel and do watch that, okay? So I'm just writing four and you will see eight squares alternatively here, right? First you have a blue one, then yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, okay? So like we wrote blue, then move forward and draw yellow, then move forward and draw blue it's like that okay it will continuously do it for eight times and you can see that after drawing eight times the like bob is actually over here now in this corner okay so again i want to draw right eight squares below this also right so below that also i want to draw below that also i want to draw i want to continuously draw it eight times to fill my uh, grid right so then how how to do that of course you can use a loop for it again okay so what you just do, you just place it here. You want to repeat the same thing eight times. So write eight, but you can see it is drawing on the same thing again and again. But we really don't want this to happen, correct? So when you don't want this to happen, that means after drawing it for the first line, he will have to, Bob has to come back over here first, okay? To come back, we can use jump backward, right? So instead of forward, you do backward. We know that is 400 pixels in length, so we are doing 400 pixels. Now he is completely back here, okay? Now here he is. So what he has to do, he has to first turn right, okay? So let's turn him right, turn him right by 90 degrees exactly, okay? Then what, what needs to be done? He has to um, now jump forward, okay? So jump forward by how many pixels? The square length is 50 pixels, right? So we'll jump forward by 50 pixels only, okay? After that, what? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, shit, I, I just deleted this, no problem. Let's do it again. Uh, uh, that's, all, that's all right. So square, draw a square. Then let's go to actions. I think we need loops again. So inside this, we have to place this. So it's for four times we are repeating, draw square, go to math, then get this. So the length is 50 pixels. Then color, we have to give color. So I'm just grabbing this. I'm doing this with blue color then jump forward jump forward by 50 pixels as the length of the square is 50 now you can see this we wanted alternate colors so that's why i'm just placing this here changing the color to yellow then jump forward by 50 pixels okay now we were actually grabbing this jump back jump backward right 
so jump backward by 400 pixels so that it come back comes back to its normal position right after that it has to turn right okay so so turn right by how many times you have to turn right so how many degrees it's 90 degrees okay and then he has to again move forward no so that means we have to jump forward so how many pixels the length of the square is 50 so he'll jump forward by 50 pixels only but this is not enough after jumping forward he will be facing towards uh, you right but he has to face towards left okay uh, sorry right okay so that means we will have to turn left now so turn left by 90 degrees You can see this, correct? So alternatively, it is drawing eight times, okay? And eight squares, right? Eight by eight grid is forming. And this is so beautiful to look at, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's so cute. <laughs> All right. So now again, uh, he is here now in the bottom right corner. We don't want this to happen because we want to draw triangles also. So to draw triangles again, he has to come back over here. Okay. So to do that, we know we have jump block. This is one of the very cool blocks we have. So he has to jump to uh, 0 over 50 down. Why 50 down? Because we have to draw a triangle and triangle starts off from the base, right? So like this it draws. Okay. So that's why what I'm doing is jump to 0 over 50 down. I'm writing and we can actually duplicate the same loop okay so what shall i do is i'll just drag it down let's go scroll down drag it down again don't worry just grab this place it below that's it okay so you're just doing the same thing right that's why this is happening and we we just um, mistakenly brought this brought these blocks what happened come on yes this is how okay so uh this is fine but we should not really draw a square instead we have to draw a triangle right so what i will do is i'll just uh, take these colors out so that we can use it for a triangle. We don't want this draw square block anymore. Right. So I'm just throwing this, these blocks away. Go to functions. Get draw a triangle. So for draw a triangle also there's only length thing. So we have to add that color. Okay. So let's add that color parameter here. So color add parameter. Then go to brushes let's get this set color i'm just placing it within this let's throw this out add this color here okay this is the parameter that's why i'm using the parameter which is uh, added into the function okay if you want to know about parameters and all you have to go back and check my other videos right and yes so we have this color block here instead of blue we can now use some other color right so let's use green maybe and we can just uh, duplicate this block and just let's throw this 50 out, throw the color out. You can use uh, another color now. Okay. So let's attach this to this and this to this. Now we can place it inside this. Wow. Uh, it's absolutely cool right and this is not really com a compulsion where you only have to use blue yellow green orange right you can use you can experiment on colors use some cool colors if you can right and yeah nice right i am in love with this now wow <laughs> okay so this is cool and um let's run it and check how does this work right okay it's draw drawing eight then again it's coming back and drawing the eight so this repeats for eight times because the loop itself is repeating for eight times right so 
This is beautiful. Beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> to see this or to look at this. Oh, my God. It's so cool. Wow. Wow. This is nice. Absolutely nice. Right? So, this is the coolest pattern which we had to create today and here the main motto of our today's session was about functions and how to add parameters into it right so you can actually change the code also you can you can customize the code if you want okay so we have not really customized anything yes of course we have customized with the parameter color right so that's it we, we have not changed any code okay but yes, if you want, you can absolutely do that or you can absolutely create a new function of your own terms, right? So yes, this is all about our today's session. Hope you enjoyed this session today, right? And we will be meeting in our next session again back with a concept or a pattern, right? And I, I personally am enjoying these pattern videos because um, like you can see, we can actually create something really cool and... Uh, nice on the screen right so i'm enjoying this and yeah so um you know what you have to do until my next video right so i'll be coming back in the next session uh, in tomorrow's session basically because i'm uploading a video daily right so um then until then you can actually watch all my videos in the series okay uh, do watch all the playlists, get to understand all the concepts, basic concepts which you need for programming, coding, right? And we have been doing this blog-based coding as uh, like, I personally started off this for beginners. So we have started off with uh, blog-based coding, okay? If you have any questions, queries, you can absolutely comment in the comment section below. And you can share your project links with me in the comment section below so that I can just check them. Uh, if I if I can, I can give you feedbacks on them or uh, I can get to know how creative you have uh, become while coding, right? And uh, at what level of creativity you've been doing the projects and patterns, okay? So please do uh, submit your links with me and yeah, I'm so happy to look all of them and get to know more about these right and explore more okay thank you so much for watching our video today and i'll get back to you in the next session bye bye have a great day all